hello guys hello guys hello guys this is a very good as in a very cool evening a monday cool evening our seat at home as in a normal seat at home in the southeast and uh, especially in anambra state here even if or no other state observe the seat at home in anambra state here is no go area you don't just have to come out because if you come out, aha, <laughs> giga, I was sorry. So, this is a very cool evening, and uh, there is a little thing I want us to talk about, which nobody is really talking about like that. And what is it? Is it about the state of emergency in Nanambra State, which is the um, coffin, the coffee that they have placed, the our governor has placed for over getting to two weeks or there about three weeks now um so and uh, not this is not just me alone so if you have anything you know it is affecting you you just leave a comment just leave a comment because it's really is really affecting a lot of people and on friday last week i was on friday yes last week i was coming back from portacourt and when i get to I didn't get a direct bus, I just boarded a bus, stop at the way, enter another one that will carry me to Anambra State. If you see the way the driver was driving, getting looking at the time that the thing is almost, the, looking at the time that is almost uh, 5.30, the driver started driving like, uh, as in, I was like, please, this one is too much. I started pleading the blood of Jesus. <laughs> It was like I started pleading the blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. The man that was beside me started looking at me. I was like, "What is wrong with this lady?" I said, "I need to plead the blood of Jesus because the driving was as in the driver was on a high speed running." I was like, "What is it?" He said, eh, "It is not only here, God. That he has to get to the place, his destination. He has to do this." I said, "But." They, I heard that it's only Keke and Okada that, that they ban after 6 o'clock, we should not, what we said, even both Okada, both human beings that you don't need to cross, to, as in you just need to stay in your house 6 to 6, as in 6 o'clock in the morning, then 6 o'clock in the evening, you don't need to come out. That even some of the people that were, were they were fortunate, as in they were unfortunate, they cost them, they have to pay before they come out. So I don't know the exact amount because people were saying different things. I don't want to say what I don't know. So what am I trying to say is that it is really affecting a lot of people, especially those people that are selling. There is in, in, in here in Anambra State, I don't know in other states what they used to call it, but I know here in Anambra State, there is something we call Wamwede, as in the evening markets. There is this woman that I know, she always sell in the evening. She sells in the evening, and what she sells is food. In the evening, she start cooking her own. She doesn't sell in the morning. As in, when you come out to the place they used to sell, they share it. This person cook in the morning. This person cook in the evening, so that they will not, um, they will not. Everybody will not cook morning. And when you come there, their food will remain. So they share it. This person cook in the morning while I cook in the evening. So this woman was really lamenting and said that this is what I used to pay my children's school fees. My that the husband is an Okada rider now sees to sees that even he can't even boast of five thousand naira a day. Now the food that she's selling, she doesn't cook again. She tried to cook, she tried to go and talk with her neighbor so that they can be cooking in the morning. The first day they cook in the morning. The food, as in the person in the morning did not finish herself, she did not finish and it became, as in it incurred a lot of waste for them. Because there's sometimes the food you cook, you don't need to eat it, you are just doing it for commercial purposes, you need to sell it, not the one you will feed your family with. And I mean, this is just a little out of it. Then you talk about people in the market, if you go to the market by 5.30 to 6, even 
you are talking to somebody i want to buy something the person is busy packing her load packing her load because what is she running for she doesn't want to pay that since morning what have i sell that somebody will catch me and i will pay and i will pay again on it how much have i made since morning so i don't know and the, the worst as in the worst part of it is that it's to further notice not okay the coffee is being placed for two weeks let's use it to checkmate something but this is t further notice and that t further notice is not really as in our government is not really talking about us they don't really care about us they don't really care about us everybody talk about themselves what they are but not knowing that there are ordinary people as in there like this woman i said as an example there are some people that their meats as in their daily meat meal depend on what they sell in a day what they make in a day it is not something that they will see that woman like i said if you if she insists and start cooking cooking like this woman early in the morning they cook they won't be able to make it at the end of the day they will only be wasting their food and you know that all those food they bought it with money and they buy the essence of buying it is to make gain in it the family will eat then they will make money from it to solve their daily problem so if it's really affecting you i'm just saying this because i know a lot of people have said a lot of things they have said one or two things how it's really affecting them if it's affecting you and you are in an umbra state you have to we have to lament as in we are lamenting already so that they will know we we are still human beings we are not people that you can still i am not against putting coffin or whatever but what i'm saying is that hearing that is the further notice is just the as in is 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 the one that is pissing me off because you cannot be eating and leave others and you cannot be enjoying you're enjoying yourself and the way people need to get their daily meat and you shut it off that you're fighting crime or you're fighting whatever please don't come to my house to look for me because if you come out you will not see me so what am i trying to say is that it's not really helping our government should think about us whatever you do we don't ask you not to fight the crime or look for people that are uh, terrorizing the, the the community or terrorizing the state but in this in, in fighting or in doing whatever you are doing concerning the safety of the people you still have to give them a preference yes there's something like preference you still give them a preference that yes these people their meal depend on this their meal depend on this you think about them that is what government for the people it is not government for themselves it is, if it is for the people yes you think about what other people may be going through so this is just the least i need to talk about this is just the least because if i start narrating even i was like let me make a short get the faces of the people that are they were like no we don't want to because when this one was complaining this person was complaining I said, let me just they say that they don't want to before somebody will come and start looking for them that will we that always appear that will should appear but i don't i know if you look for me you will not see me i'm just saying my mind the government needs to talk about us they need to care show concern about the people they are leading we are not animals we are not as in we are not animals or whatever that we can complain when things is biting us this state of emergency coughing or whatever is really affecting a lot of families yes you can put it for two weeks you checkmate it and you come back you see how far they have gone and see how far things are then you push it out again because you may end up taking food away from somebody's table so by so doing you are not ruling us you are only suppressing us yes you are only suppressing us and in this time in the in this type as in in these states uh, in nigeria now you hardly can just move to somebody and say please i want you to give me one letter or whatever because the person you are going to meet do you know what's the problem or do you know whether the person have so that is why sometimes you can if you meet somebody and you ask somebody for something and you say he doesn't have you don't even need to castigate the person or say anything because you don't know 
how the person is faring too because when you see the way he's biting you you know how it is biting on other people are you talking about strike a lot of uh, people that are being at home doing a lot of things as in doing wasting as in not doing anything especially the lecturers some of them are just moving from one place to the other not having any other things to do that is still the state of emergency as in that is still the state what we are seeing in this state so what am i saying our government should think about us think about us we need this for me and with the little things that i've seen and whatever that i've seen I, what i'm talking may not make sense may not make sense to some people but really it is really affecting a lot of people only that they don't have they don't there is no voice as in they don't have there is no voice for the voiceless there's something will say that this is the voice for the voiceless nobody voiced out for them but they just have to but they just have to force themselves to suit into the situation because they don't have a voice. Placing it is fine, but you put it two weeks, you scrub it up and look at the, as in the essence, things has gone. Then you check mate and see how far, see the results. After the result, you take it. So please, if you're hearing me and you know it's affecting you, or you know that this is good or you have heard some people talk about it i still want you to talk about something we don't normal as in today is monday today is a waste as in in southeast Anambra states in particular today is just a wasteful day nothing is being done today no movement today from as in from six o'clock no movement till we start a sit at home after the sit at home that end by four five what will you do from five to six? What can you do? Or what can you achieve from five to six? Are you, if you make, if you become, you want to be stubborn, they'll catch you. You must pay the thirty thousand or whatever they say that they are paying together. So why we everybody decide to stay at home? Because the money you are going to look for at that five from five to six, you've not gotten it, and when you get there. You have to incur another 30 or something thousand naira to bail yourself out. So everybody decide to stay at home. So what am I trying to say in essence is that this is what we are seeing in Anambra states. The government should think about us. And for people at large that is hearing me, that is why we say we need to be obedient. <laughs> we need to just to be simple obedient for us to get to a promised land because this is just this i was like telling somebody you don't need to you don't need to suffer for the next for another eight years you don't need to suffer for another eight years before we can get it right so what am i trying to say if you're a youth or whosoever you are in nigeria watching me and you are in nigeria watching me and you want a good government and you want a good president you want us to add the youth mostly we need to be obedient and we need to go and get a pvc so that we can do the normal thing we don't be deceived don't let people tell you that your vote is not counting your vote is counting in this day just get your pvc let's do it right again if we get it wrong this season i mean we are going to stay for another eight years of suffering so we need a young mind i don't need to tell you you know where i belong immediately i said you need to be obedient you know that i'm i'm obedient already that is where i belong so you need to be obedient for us to get it right let's look for somebody that has what it takes to run this nation and let's see where we we have got it wrong for so many times we have been trying to put a new wine in a, in an old old container for a very long time but this time around let's put it in a new wine we don't it, i was telling somebody see it is not about tribalism don't be tri don't talk about tribalism just remove it aside because whatever you're buying in your states the way things are expensive in your state is the same thing the same way it is expensive in my state you can't go to your state to buy something that they will give you free when i come to my state to buy they will give me they will place it money no so we need to get it right we don't need to be sentiments 
We don't use to don't use sentiment to build somebody. So get it right and be obedient. So that's what I want to say in this very cool evening. So if you have anything to say, you can leave a comment. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to Psychology Corner so you can get more this is just an evening cool evening just a talk a little talk i want to say so if you have anything any contribution you want anything to say you can just put it down in the comment box i'll remember i will reply you remember to be obedient and remember to get your pvc and be completely obedient so watch out for more and whatever you feel if you feel the Anambra state is really getting it right by the the state of emergency, the coffin that has been placed for over is getting to three weeks now. If you feel it's right, you can still leave a comment. If you feel it's wrong, you can still leave a comment. So whatever, you can still leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to Psychology. Like I said, subscribe to Psychology and let's run things together. Thank you very much. And thank you for being obedient. Thank you and bye.